Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, going to cut right to the chase. What's this doing here? <laughs> How did that get there? This, you see these little things, all these little cuts over here? What's that doing here? This is the outline of the width of this machine. And it's obviously some form of machine. Now, these tracks in here quite obviously were made when this was moist. No other way. They didn't chisel these and put it in there. This was like a machine with with these traction marks. Either that was to, to make it so that it wouldn't slide around and these are just gouges in there to hold it. I don't think they were driving up there. If this was wet going up that it did just slip. This is what the, did the driving, if anything, would it be these. What is this all about? Why would they put that there? And why would they put this here? Well, to me, it looks like they anchored this machine right here. Now, how did that machine even get there? It didn't drive there. It had to come out of the sky, as far as I'm concerned. I can't see any other way for it to get there. This is... Um, I forget where this is. This is down in. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I do. I do know where it is, but I don't have it right here. Hold on a second. All right, that's where it is. Fuerte di Sempiata, Bolivia. And there it is. Here's the cuts. And they took those slabs when they were moist. There's no question whatsoever. This was moist. No question. It sunk in there. They cut these out when they were still moist, and then they built those walls. That's why they fit together. So they just like putting putty together. The earth is nothing but a gigantic graveyard after the giant flood, the, the great flood. And all these gigantic creatures were killed, and they were still moist, and their bodies were being used to create the landscape. You know, all the buildings and everything. All right. In a creature's body, there's all kinds of different tendon attachments, but they all pretty much have a ball and a strap. In this case, this is a flat tendon. Other tendons are bundles and they stretch out to muscles. This is sort of the fibrous, tough stuff that is on your back and on your belly and places like that where it's, it's flat and it's not stretched out to pull, pull another big muscle. But they have these straps, and they broke these straps off right here, and they cut these pieces out, and they just built walls out of them. They just let the little straps, a bump sticking out. I, you know, I don't know exactly why, but they did. They left them virtually everywhere. Now, I have a ton of information on this, and all the different types of tendons they used. And where they are, you see here, these, these are those bumps. And here's how they fit together, nice and flat. And they use machines to cut them. And this is the kind of huge tendons they had. You see that? The kids are sliding on an Achilles tendon. <laughs> here's the Achilles tendon right here. That's what they're sliding on right here. So, you know, we got a little little thinking to do. But I got a ton of information on this. And they all have the balls and the straps. Basically, the ball and straps are all where the tendons were, and they're all over the world, and they're, they're huge. There's one of those balls and a strap right there. That's Arches National Park in Utah. These things were everywhere. They're just everywhere. So we're going to go over this um, in great detail, and here's, here's one that got caught up into a piece of bone. You see, they, they, they cut it in. This one's falling apart. But these are the same sort of things right here. And again, this one's falling apart. It's all blood leaking out of it because they hit a bone. Normally they didn't. They used either muscle or they used the, the tendon. Look at this one up here. They must have had some... That one there, I, I wouldn't have used that myself. Now here's some of these little tabs up here. But I, like again, I have so much on this. And, um, and they use them in all these walls. See the little bumps? And they're nice. They fit right in there. They go blip, 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 blip. And they just pop them in and... That's how they made such perfect walls. Okay, I'm going to pretty much leave it at this. These are how the bumps, you see this, where you can actually see down inside where the core was. And you can actually see a little bit of blood and 
that's what a tendon looks like inside of the surrounding membrane. And it looks to me like they were trying to figure out how they were going to use these slabs, you know, because this is this is natural. You see that nobody cut that. That's the the scale that's on the outside that leads up to the straps. This has some too, and they sort of shaded that. And this this they left that way. This they scraped it all down. Uh, it looks to me like they were trying to figure out what's the best way to make these things work. That's all I can come up with on that. You see, this is where they had one of those machines, cutting these slabs. They took them down here and built the walls. Now, I don't know how they got them from here to there, je ne sais pas. I don't know, I don't know what they were doing with all these walls, why they were doing this in the first place, to be perfectly honest with you. But um, wherever you see this, like, yellowish looking stuff, that's, that is a type of um, bacteria that's growing in the blood. It was, or, or whatever the minerals were that are in the tendon. It may not necessarily be blood, but um, wherever you see lichen and moss and so forth attached to rocks, they're try, they're eating something in the rock. Primarily, it's it's going to be the blood normally. But anyway, this is uh, I got so much to show on this that it's going to take quite a long time, and I'm going to probably do it with a friend or who knows what. Uh, but I'd love to have some conversation on this and again about the new species we have the no toes all the gigantic creatures all you know the gigantic hair follicle I've, I think I showed you this but if I didn't everybody loves to see it so here it comes here's the hair follicle right there <laughs> it's the same one as this there's a the muscle there's the sebaceous gland there's the root of the hair and the vein and artery. There's the root, it grows down and then comes up. There's the hair shaft. It's got a flat side. It was a curly haired person, is what I have been told. And that's a good size hair follicle. So there were giants on the earth, in the earth, literally everywhere. Again, I have so much on this, and this is this this isn't even the tip of the tip of the iceberg. It's it just goes on and on and on. And it's um, even like inside of these tendon balls. You see how these are th tendon balls. These are the things that have the straps sticking out of them. Sometimes they have a lot of crystals inside and, and minerals. And, and they end up looking like this when they solidify. Where is it? Where's my crystal cave? There it is right there. There's the top of the tendon ball inside. And these are all those crystals. And these are people walking around in here. This is, this is this kind of crystal stuff, selenite, I believe. It could be quartz, but I, I think primarily it's this stuff. That's an abrupt transition. You see that right there? That's an abrupt transition of a tendon. And it, it, normally it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't look like this. It would look like the, the stuff that they're cutting and putting in the walls. This is tendon too. And that's why it's so nice. But it, this was in a different condition. It, it leached everything out of it, so there was no meaty looking stuff left in it but it's the same as, as the stuff they were building the walls out of so that's it for today well, we got to go back to this again um, this is going to be a very long discussion about how all this stuff happened who did this where did this come from where the hell did that come from and I'm going to tell you right now this is tendon and this is the same exact same stuff that's here this is the gluey stuff in, te in a tendon. And there's another one I have a shot of. It shows even better. These guys right here, you see that? That is exactly identical in this tendon. This is another one of these machines. All right, it could be the same place, but I don't think so. This is fresher looking to me. And anyway, this is tendon. This is, the, this is literally mineralized glue that's within the tendon to give it integrity. And, and I have all the chemistry, I have all the anatomy, I got all the books, I got all that stuff on it. So, there it is right there. And remember I told you they have holes in the center of the straps? There's a hole right there. The strap's broken off, but there's just still a hole. That strap would have run down to this ball right here. I believe. Probably right onto this ball. And they eroded here. Just like that other one I showed you stuck into the flesh. 
wherever it is here, right there. That's what they do. They stick into the flesh up to a certain point, and that, that anchors them. And that lets your, your stomach muscles and everything pull against these straps. That's what they did, all right? I love you all. And um, stick around, stick with me, give, you know, subscribe, please give me a thumb up so we can get this out and push this around, start to talk, share these things. And, you know, I want a school, I want a school and I want to start all new books and everything. We have to do this. Nobody's going to do it unless we do it. And we, I have a friend making books for me right now. We got all stuff, Velikowski, Electron Flood, Mud Fossils, Geology, Myth, History, all of that stuff, Titans. This this covers literally everything. So we're starting over again. All right, stick with me. I love you all.